Hi guys and welcome to you, welcome to another Minecraft Modern Tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to add custom food to the game. So let's crack right into it. So, item food. Let's create a new item class. So item mod food. That's what it's going to be for me. And this is going to extend the item food class. There we go. Item food. So it would want us to create a constructor. So, yep. So we're going to have that as a constructor. I'm also going to take in the unlocalized name. So that's string unlocalized name. Also, in a second, if we just set our unlocalized name first, hello, set unlocalized name to the unlocalized name. And we're actually going to make so that this item can have potion effects. So I'm actually going to be doing like a copper apple, which sounds a bit stupid, but that's what I want to do. And we're also going to take in potion effects dot dot dot. Or is it potion effect? I think it's potion effect. Potion effect dot dot dot. And we're going to call that effects. So if you just import that. Now you guys will be like, what does this dot 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 mean? It basically means you can keep adding as many potion effects as you want. But we need something to store these. So I'm going to have a private potion effect array list called effects. And then it's this dot effects equals effect. And then that will just initialize that. So we need to, in fact, override a method. So the method is on food eaten. There we go. So we want to just do the super one first, which just does the stuff. And then we want to do if world dot is. I can't rename this to world because that's how I like to roll. If world dot is remote, that should be world here. And you want to put exclamation mark so it isn't remote. Then you just want to do player dot add potion effect, and the potion effect is the potion effect that we're going to be. But we need to actually have a for loop here, so we want to go through all the different ones. So int i equals zero i is smaller than effects dot length i plus plus and that's basically i plus plus means it's going to add one to i every time and that's going to go through all of the potion effects and then this dot no hold on it's player dot add potion effect and then it's going to be effects i so that's going to be the potion effect for the number i. So say I just had one potion effect, which say it was speed. So say we had the speed potion effect, and that would be stored as attribute like zero. So then when i starts off at zero, it's going to be the zero one, and it's going to be that speed effect. Basically, yeah, might be a bit complicated. So let's actually go into our mod items class and make this item. So I'm going to put a another one for food, public static, and it's still an item, and it's going to be copper underscore apple. Yep. And then let's just um, initialize it. So food, I right, copper underscore apple equals new item mod food. mod food unlocalized name copper underscore apple now int amount all this stuff is actually here and there is some values that we're going to be using so nourishment value is basically number of saturation points restored so we can in fact see these all down here so four means two hunger bars and that's because 
one would be half a hunger bar. So I want the same as a normal golden apples, which is four. So if you just put the amount to four, saturation. So saturation we can also find on here. That's a saturation ratio divided by two. So that's how we work out what saturation is going to be. So I would say, ooh, golden apple, 2.4. Half of 2.4 is 1.2, so that's the, it's 1.2 here, and I put F, is wall food, no, and the effects, so what effects are we going to have? So, I'm going to have a new potion effect, and it's going to be the potion effect ID, and then the effect duration, and, um, yep, the amplifier, and we can also choose whether we want to show particles. I'm just going to do this one. So, the effect ID. I want my golden apple or copper, uh, copper apple to... Ooh. They jump higher. Yep, they get a jump. Now, the duration. Ooh. What's that? So, duration is, in fact, in ticks. and So, there's 20 ticks a second. So, if I get the calculator, say I want it to be... I don't know, I want it to last two minutes. So, two minutes. So, two minutes is how many seconds? 120. Then it's 120 times by the 20 ticks per second. So, that's 2400. Zero, zero. So, that's how many ticks that's going to last for. The effect amplifier. Now, zero is the first. So, this is like how fast. So, I'm going to put it on two. So, you get speed three. Hold on. That is because we need to actually get the ID. That fixes that. So, I actually want to add another one. So, if I just put another comma, now if you look, it isn't at, it only ends on the effects, but because it's a dot dot dot, we can do it again. So, I'm going to also make it give us something else as well. So, the ID is potion dot, oh, let's choose. Maybe the copper apple gives us um, health boost. It boosts our health, and that will last, I don't know, 5 seconds. So, back onto the calculator, 5 times 20 is 100, so that's 100 ticks. And, say, I don't know, let's just have the default 0. And, don't forget to get the ID of the health boost, and then that's that, so we can, in fact, do the normal registering. So, let's register it. And then just register the render as well. And now we can just do our normal, um, the name of it, and everything like that, and a texture. So let's do that. So I've done all of that, we now can run the game, but don't forget we've got our creative tab, so let's set the creative tab, so this dot set creative tab, and then it's B-O, no, bit of everything, dot items, and then just put a semicolon on the end, and then let's run, and we'll wait for the game to load up. Okay, so the game is loaded up. I I know why I see that. That's because of AMD Gaming Evolved. But I've closed that. So that shouldn't be there. But, you know. So let's just check that everything works. Everything should work. Fingers crossed, everyone. And if we go into our items, we have our copper apple. Now, we can't eat it because we're in creative mode. So if we go into survival... And, uh, hunger. There you go, I'm going to get myself hungry. There you go. 
So, I'm hungry. I can, if I eat it, I get a speed buff. And I also get health boost. But, obviously, I'm dying. Because I've, st I've still got speed. Yep. Um, so, we can, in fact, make it so that... Because, obviously, you've got your apple. So, at the moment, you can't, in fact, like, eat it at all. So, on the init dot set always editable edible and then you can run your game and then that should just be make it so we can eat it at any given time okay so the game is loaded up oh, I did not click multiplayer and we can test this out finally we should have a working copper apple so it does work it's just because we're in creative so we can continue eating now, you might want to make it so that, because it still gives you extra hearts, you might want to make it so that it, like, um, regens, gives you regen. But, yeah, I've got speed free. So that will be it for today's tutorial, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and even subscribe. And don't forget, if you need any help, email me at cjminecraft.theclever.me at gmail.com. Yeah! I'm out. Don't forget to watch any of my previous videos or last tutorial. So, yeah, go check them out.